All right, welcome to another file center receipts training video. This is again a new feature that we are have just pushed out. It is now currently available, and all you need to do is just go out to our website and grab that uh, new build uh, for the file center software. But in this video, we're going to be talking about moving receipts. So it's been a pretty common um, request that, uh, you know, sometimes people have uh, put a receipt into the wrong box or maybe you're just looking to move it to something different and categorize it differently or you've just set up things a little bit uh on a different level, I guess, or reorganize the way that you're doing things. So one of the things you're able to do is now you're going to be able to come into any receipt. You'll be able to right click on a receipt item in the list and come down to move receipt. Or you'll also see up here on the toolbar, there will be a move icon. And so when we click on the move or we right click and click move, uh, basically this window is going to pop up and it's going to ask you where you're going to want to be putting this. So in this particular case, um, we might want to come in and say that we want to put this into the receipt box for file center webinar 2021. And so from here, we're going to be able to um, see all of the information that is available here. Currently right now, this is just a really uh, basic way of us doing this. Uh, this may change a little bit in the way that we're doing it, but uh, currently right now, this is just us getting the feature in and putting it in place. And so we really welcome your feedback if, uh, as you start moving through and, and using this particular feature set. So with that, let's go ahead and um, we'll see that we have the payee dropdown. If your payee isn't already in that box, uh, then that's something that you're going to need to add because it's not currently there in your vendor or payee list. Uh, if you had taken a, a receipt box and cloned it and you had all of those particular vendors available in the one box that you clone and then you move that into a new box, then all your payees should be there. All your pay, payment accounts, payment methods, etc., will all be there. Same with categories. But in this case, um, I, you can see that I don't have that set up. So I'm going to come in here and we'll just go ahead and put in Jack in the box and then we'll go ahead and add that we'll see that our payment accounts are already there payment methods are there uh, the, the totals come across just fine and then we can come in here to the categories uh, if the category also is not there it will need to be added as well so we'll go ahead and click on add for the food and then down here in the bottom left hand corner, this is a sticky little box that once you check the box uh, while you're inside of File Center, uh, this will retain that box so that you don't have to constantly come back uh, and check that uh, going forward. Uh, and then we just come in and we click OK. And it's going to take that receipt. We can see that the line item is now gone. And if we come over to the File Center webinar 2021, we can see that our receipt has been moved over. Uh, if you have any questions or anything like that or comments, uh, leave those messages down below because we definitely want to hear about that. Uh, as this is a brand new feature, we want to make sure we're getting as much feedback as possible. Well, I'll look forward to hearing uh, those comments and questions, though, and uh, we'll look forward to catching you on tomorrow's video.